Okay, and I'll try to answer. Uh, Coach, I know your team came in um, having some trouble scoring. Um, what was it that Louisville and their defense was able to, to, to do against you guys? You know, anytime you <clears throat> come in and play against a team that's bigger, faster, stronger, you know, more athletic, um, you, you can't play back on your heels. You know, and the things that I've tried to trying to instill in my girls is um, you got to stay. You, you can't play on your heels. You got to kind of catch hold and look to get them off balance. I think we just we had just dribble in queens tonight. We just want to catch dribble, catch dribble. That's not effective against a team that's quicker than you. You must catch. You must get them off balance in order to get in the paint. Because we, we harp on paint touches in order for us to get good looks on the perimeter or even around the rim. Um, trying to get the ball and work inside out. That could be a post feed. That could be a back door. That could just be a dribble a dribble drive. Um, we did not do that effectively because we just immediately catch and dribble. And when you do that, what's the defense think you're going to do? Oh, you're going to dribble. So they're just going to contain. Um, and, and we're not necessarily the greatest off the dribble scorers. And so they don't necessarily have to get up in us where we can go on that straight line drive. So we struggle with that. And we're trying to work on that. You know, the other thing is you must be more fundamentally sound. You got to pivot. You got to, um, we made some like one handed off balance passes tonight. You can't do those things against teams like this. And so, um, that's what I'm, I'm trying to get them to understand. We are very, um, we're still a young team. We're still, um, young, young in age, but also young in experience. And so we're kind of working towards helping them to understand these aspects and a team like this, I mean, that's you're not going to get much better. I mean, they're, they're, that's an excellent team that we just played. Was it more frustrating because Louisville wasn't able to uh, to shoot uh, itself um, in that first quarter? Because uh, it seemed like you know, there, were, there were opportunities there to, to be able to capitalize on it. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. I was shaking hands with Jeff, and I said, um, he said, we haven't shot the ball that well in a while. I said. I said, yeah, but that first quarter, Lord have mercy, I sure am glad you missed so many layups. Um, we didn't capitalize on that. You know, when we came into this game, we said we got to get back, we got to box out, and we got to communicate. We gave up 22 offensive rebounds. We did gave up 12 fast break points. Not not too bad against a team like this that likes to push. Um, and I don't know how many of those came in that last three minute segment. You know, um, but. You know, we talked about those things. We talked about taking care of the ball. The bottom line is, is that we didn't do the things that we said we needed to do in order to compete, and and that's the that's the frustrating thing for me. Um, yeah. So I mean, that's all. That's all. I can move on to the, to the next question. Uh, Coach Ebony Williams had a a good game for you. Almost half your points. She was active inside for you. Yeah, Ebony's. Uh, a super athlete. I mean, she the kid is quick. She's got a huge, quick first step. I'm trying to help her to get to utilize that a little bit better. Um, so yes, thankful that she was able to produce some points. A couple of little bank shot threes. We don't we don't necessarily teach that, but they count just the same. Um, trying to get her to play. Um, I call it controlled energy because the kid brings energy every time she steps on the court. She's going to give you fire and energy and all that, but I got to get her under control. And I think she did a better job of that tonight. There were a couple of times where um, she drove in a little bit too deep and they were able to get hands on it, kind of get deflections. So I'm trying to get her to understand. And she did it a couple of times in the second half where now you get in there to pull up, shoot that pull up jumper because she can elevate. Um, so she was able to kind of make that adjustment in the second half. And so I was glad to see that because I believe she had five turnovers at the half. I don't think she had any in the second half if I'm not mistaken um so anyway um she does she provides a lot of fire for us she's got some length and athleticism um still just a sophomore so she's got a lot to learn but um I was thankful that she was able to come out and produce for us in, in that way this evening because we weren't getting it from pretty much anybody else what are some of the things you say to your team after a game like this to well, you just talk about the simple fact that we have goals that we've set for ourselves and we didn't achieve those goals. And, I, and I'm trying, you know, and we make them as realistic as possible. You know, a team like this, especially with the way that we've been struggling to score, we have to get defensive stops. We have to do the little things like boxing out and not giving up second chance points. In our last game, that was something that we 
it was just one after another. And against Purdue, we gave up uh, 26 um, second chance points off of 21 offensive. I mean, it's just, we've got, I'm sorry, off 20, I'm sorry, it was 26 um, points off turnovers. Like, so taking care of the ball, okay? Second chance points, another thing that you, you can control boxing out. You can control not throwing the ball to the other team. And we just didn't do that. So that's the, I'm trying to get them to understand that you've got to do the things that you can control. You can't control, uh, it, you can't control missing a shot. Sometimes you just got to miss shots, right? Okay. You can't control the officiating. You can't, tr- even though I tried to do that a little bit, you can't control those factors. You you have to do the things that you can control. And boxing out is just a want to type thing. Taking care of the ball is just getting in your mind fundamentally, I'm going to pivot and I'm going to be on balance to make the next play. And we just didn't do those things. So that's the type of stuff that I'm more frustrated about with them. It's not the lack of effort because we, we, we fought our guts out. I mean, from the time we started to the time we ended, but you gotta you gotta fight with some purpose, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear you if you. Yeah. I don't even think that mic's on. <laughs> yeah, it helps. It helps because uh, hey, you get the, the questions on there. Yeah. But, uh, uh, Coach, um, I think uh, talked to Jeff Walls this week, and he said that he worked primarily with you. You did the scheduling before this season so you obviously threw yourself into kind of a frying pan with the trip to Cincinnati and then to Louisville Uh, what do you want your players to get out of that uh, quick uh, road trip to Tuesday and Thursday well we don't that's the type of schedule we play in conference play you know the the, just the one day in between so the Tuesday Thursday even though it's a Thursday Saturday in conference play that's something that we have to be able to do on a regular basis moving forward in January and February. However, we get a few days to prepare for that. You know, our, our predicament comes in the simple fact that we have a very small conference and we have to field 15 non-conference games in order to complete our schedule in November and December. That's a lot of games. Um, in fact, I'm sitting here looking at next year's and going, I don't think that we can fit 15 games in because we don't even start till December 10th next year. So, I mean, I'm sorry, November 10th. But, but my point is, is that you got to play the folks that will play you. And, and we've struggled in the past to get people to want to play us, you know, and when Jeff called about coming in last year, or playing last year, um, I said, we just spent, like, uh, I felt like what was a whole year, three years ago, <laughs> playing over here. You got to come to us first. And he said, done. You know, we actually played them pretty tough last year. We also had turnover within our roster, you know, and, and that hurts you in, in trying to, that's why, I guess that's one of the reasons why they say your second year is harder than your first. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, we don't back down from a challenge. Now, we obviously felt like there were some of these games that were going to be more attainable for us. Um, we just, um, like I say, if we don't play with a purpose and we don't do the fundamental things, we're just not going to pull those wins out because they're still good teams, very good, solid teams. Um, and then you've got the elite level like we saw tonight. So um, we just, like I say, have to do what we got to do. And I would say that, you know, yes, I was – had a big hand in that, but also had somebody telling me to do it, Coach Foster. Uh, <laughs> but no, um, we just, um, you know, it is what it is, and we got to come out and battle every day. I know it's a tough night, but a lighthearted question, and hopefully uh, you're familiar. But uh, how good are the pancakes at Aretha Frankenstein's? <laughs> They're super thick. Um, I like them very much, though you can't really get in at the restaurant. So, you, hey, it's better to order it to go and just go pick it up. Or now, you know, they got all that like dinner delivered and Grubhub and all that stuff. But they're delicious. I could go for some of those right now. You good? Thank you, Coach. Thank you. I reckon. <laughs>